Kongo is a suburb located about three kilometers away from Kampala, where pilgrims from all walks of life gather to celebrate the lives of 25 young men who gave up their lives for their religious beliefs. Like Golgotha in Israel, it was the place where the Kabaka of Uganda would execute all those who disobeyed his orders, starting with Sekabaka Chawagu, the 20th king of Uganda in 1716. There were about 13 official execution sites for the king, but Namugongo was special. This execution site was for special people. There were other execution sites in Zegoku. There was Pime Revera here in Bosega for the lesser you know, the executives. But to be killed at Namugongo, there was an element of who am I for my son to be killed? According to historians, people could be brutally dragged to Namugongo from the royal palace at Munyonyo. Those who failed to walk were tied up and dragged on the road by their back. Because they wondered how could someone be able to reach in this place? How have they managed to reach here? And they used to reply, you know, these ones, they fail to walk, they have come on their backs. So the name Namugongo, because in Luganda they used to ask, how have they arrived in this place? Ngabadamu, Baze Namugongo, Batuse Namugongo. If the king said, you are too bad to be killed, to be killed elsewhere, then you would be brought to Namugongo to be burnt alive. Oh. The martyrs belonged to the last category. Too bad. Why? I hear them say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Whose kingdom? And to come where? <laughs> Whose? Do you want to overthrow me? I hear them saying, One husband, one wife. Allah. Do you not know that a man's prestige is to have as many wives as possible? Too bad. But the place that was feared because of torture, killings, and burning of people has now turned to a place of worship where people trek from all walks of life. The martyrs were sentenced to death on 25th May 1886 by Kabaka Mwanga II. So it took another week of torture to make them denounce their faith, but they refused. If they had denounced their Christianity, probably. Uganda would be still worshipping the small gods. But all they had to do to endure the pain, because when they reached here, it was torturing. All in the hands of the chief executor, Mukajanga. So there's a home for Mukajanga in this place where I used to stay. He was guarded by the royal soldiers. They called him the Bambo was in Uganda. And also to help him in the process of killing. So he never killed alone. So Mukajanga determined which way you die when you reached here. For the martyrs, they were not burnt straight away. They had to go through a process. From the prison, no food, you had to be taken for torture. So inside this place, there's a famous tree, we call it Dandazava Zade. The martyrs were being taken to the site the evening before. Mukajanga, along with his collaborators, spent Almost the whole night again. That's how I was at dangers now, Roma. That's how I was at dangers now, Kabaye. And that's how I was at dangers now, Sinda. And that's how I was at dangers. 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 And that's how I was at called Eria Kajiri, was actually grandfather to the late Archbishop okay. Eria Kajiri. So this gentleman, Eria Kajiri, by the time he died in 1945, Archbishop Nkoi was born in 1938, so he was already seven years, about seven years old. So he was told this entire story of the matter. So he was so passionate. The Uganda matters were beatified in Rome on the 6th of June, in 1920, exactly 100 years ago. When Father Stephen Waters reached the spot where St. Charles Luanga was martyred, he asked his fellow pilgrims, why should we not construct 
a church here. And it was at this time that pilgrims began trekking to Namgongo to celebrate those who gave up their lives for Christianity. So Father Stephen Walters erected a cross right at the spot where Charles Ruanga was martyred. He died shortly before a magnificent basilica was erected on the spot. On 31st July 1969, Pope Paul VI visited. On 2nd August, he consecrated the altar in Namgongo. And do you know how many pilgrims were here? Around 2,000, 50,000. <laughs> and those were many, very many. Ah, so year, every year, and the numbers have been on the increase. Because as we speak now, annually we expect a, a, about 3 million pilgrims. This year is the first time pilgrims will not trek to Namgongo in 100 years. Agnes Nandutu, NTV.